and here's the base of the antenna and you can see I mounted the current choke um, even though the current choke isn't designed for this antenna it was simple to uh, mount it on the mast by I had to drill out a hole and the base plate so that I could accommodate a three inch clamp to go around the mass of the antenna. So the coax comes into the current choke. Choke is then grounded to the radial plate and then it goes over to the matching network and the matching network um, adds a little inductance to lower the SWR and then it attaches to the base of the vertical. All of that uh, went very smoothly and the tuning process to null out the uh, SWR was was very uh, easy. I tried operating the antenna without actually tuning it and it uh, has the advertised bandwidth but I found that 40 meters was a little bit low in frequency so I'm going to have to shorten the antenna to uh, bring it up to the middle of the 40 meter band and then adjust accordingly the 80 meter portion um, to bring that to the desired part of the 80 meter band. So I'll lower the antenna and get ready to make those adjustments. Okay, to um, check the uh, resonance of the antenna we're going to be using an analyzer and they recommend that the matching network, the coil on the right hand side be disconnected from the radial plate so I'm going to disconnect that and then I will connect the coax to the ballon and we'll see just about uh, what it looks like. I'm going to use about a six foot piece of coax to connect the analyzer. Um, again, that was the recommendation to eliminate the coax from being part of the measurement. And here's the analyzer. Okay, let's drop her back down to the uh, 80 meter band. Let's see, actually let's go to the 40 meter band. Okay, it looks like uh, 7.076. We've got um, a, an SWR dip. And we've got 50 ohms um, and just a little over 1.7. So that's 7.0. So we want to bring it up about uh, 7.15, let's say. Okay, so we're just uh, on the low end of the 40 meter band. So I'm going to shorten the antenna to hopefully bring the resonant point down to um, 7.15. And that should give us uh, all of the band that we, we need. So that'll be our next step. Um, before I make that change, I just uh, turned the um, analyzer down to 40 or 80 meters. And we're tuning down here. Let's see if you can see that. So it looks like we get um, 3.89, almost 3.9 for the... Uh, for the resonant point or the SWR minimum. So we'll uh, need to adjust that after we make the change on the 40 meter portion. So let's see how that works out. Okay, the process for lowering the antenna is rather simple. I simply need to remove those four bolts again on the upper mast support. I'll do that right away and we'll lower, drop down the antenna.
there we go we have touched down and uh, boy what a what a nice system to be able to uh, do that uh, single-handed so now I'll maybe put another horse out there to support the end and we'll go and uh, make the adjustments to the uh, length of the antenna so this um, two inch uh, pipe is the one where the or tube is the one that needs to be um, adjusted in length uh, actually the one that telescopes into the two inch tube and I had to adjust uh, by length uh, by shortening it I went down two inches and that brought it up about a hundred kcs so we shortened it two more and that hopefully will bring it right into range we'll tighten this down have to um, caution you that particularly this tube has a thicker wall and therefore a little more torque is required to compress it over the uh, telescoping, telescoping section and I, I damaged my first clamp so I had to go out and purchase another one so uh, uh, there is caution in the directions about over tightening these clamps and I would uh, say that you need to heed that <laughs> so um, uh, I'll tighten this up just a tad more there we go and in this particular section because of that they uh, have a second clamp that uh, tightens right over the top of the first one and that is so the uh, uh, tube cannot fall back down in case you don't get this one as tight um, so with those two in place we should be in shape for uh, for a long time okay now we've got the uh, 40 meter length adjusted so that the SWR minimum is right about 7.148 I wanted uh, 7.15 and um, we will now adjust the 80 meter uh, adjuster which is the top section and that's this um, clamp here and this clamp will um, allow us to lengthen or shorten the antenna I think there's 20 inches of tube telescoped inside of the previous section since I had to shorten the tube 5 inches to get down to the desired 40 meter frequency I'm going to uh, start out by lengthening this five inches uh, because that uh, when I started out it was right around seven or three point um, seven eight so we're going to be in the ballpark if I bring it out five inches and uh, maybe even uh, six would be okay <laughs> and we can get lucky and hit it on the first try so we'll, we'll give that a shot Okay, here we are at, um, so we've extended the tube a full six inches. Um, I'll tighten that up and then we'll go measure it to see how we're doing. Okay, here's the, the meter, and uh, we've got, um, let's see, if we tune her down to zero reactants, there we are at about um, 7.1 megahertz, and if I jump up here to, to uh, 80 meters, and bring it up here, where the SWR goes down 
It's about uh, 3.76. I was shooting for a 3.75, but I think that's probably uh, about as good as we're going to get it here. So, um, I think what we'll do is uh, connect it back to the coax and see what it looks like uh, at the rig. But I think um, I think we do have the uh, uh, antenna pretty much set to where it's going to be. We had to shorten the 40 meter length uh, just a bit and lengthen the 80 meter just a bit in order to get the frequencies we we're looking for. After we finished adjusting the length of the antenna and found the minimum SWR for each band 40 and 80, we reattached this matching network to the radial plate and then adjusted the tap on the coil to give us the minimum SWR on both 80 and 40 meters. And for this um, particular installation, it was about seven turns from the top, and that dropped it down from, I think, without the matching network, it was around 1.7 to 1 for minimum SWR. And with the matching network in place, it dropped it down to 1.2. And at the rig, uh, we measured SWRs right down to 1 to 1. So it does a nice job of reducing the uh, SWR of the antenna. I'd also mention that uh, I drove in a couple of ground rods, eight foot ground rods, one on each side of the plate and connected it um, with uh, wire to the plate so we're well grounded and uh, that's uh, pretty much the system. So uh, we'll check it out at the rig. Okay, here we are at 7 megahertz on 40 meters with the rig, and um, uh, up here is the SWR meter. I've keyed it, and we're running about uh, 1.25 to 1. If I go up um, 50, now we're at 1 to 1. It's registering uh, no SWR hardly. Let's see, it's 7.1. We're still at 1 to 1. .1. 7 1 to 1. 7 .2. We're still at 1 to 1. 7.2. We're at uh, 1.2, uh, 1.15 to 1, something like that. And then just uh, on the upper end, we're about 1 1.3, 1.25, 1 1.3 to 1. So it seems to be pretty much band centered. And uh, now if I switch down to 80 meters, if I go down all the way to the bottom of 3. Uh, Five approximately. I'm about uh, well four to one, something like that, over three to one. Uh, less than three to one at three five five. About two to one at three point six. Six five. I am at one point four to one. Seven. I am at one to one. And I jump up here to three point eight. I'm still at one to one. Three eight five. I'm about one point two to one. Three point nine and about one point seven to one. Um, three point nine five about two point um, what two point three to one, two point two to one, something like that. And um, so if we get up here close uh, 
at the high end uh, 3.99 I'm at uh, 2.6 to 1 something like this so the um, I guess I could uh, I could have it a little bit lower but um, it seems to uh, be somewhat uh, centered just about where I wanted it um, I might uh, I might go out and lengthen that uh, top element just a couple of more inches to see if I can't bring it down just a little bit further but uh, it does have the bandwidth uh, as advertised and uh, seems to uh, be functioning quite nicely so uh, very pleased with that proce uh, process okay that's it for uh, for the tuning Thank you.